Howdy, this is Edward from Valarm. You'll learn how to use Valarm Tools Cloud with the Yocto API in this step-by-step -step video tutorial. You can use the instructions here with a variety of sensor and remote monitoring hardware, like the Raspberry Pi you see here with VOC and CO2 air quality sensors. Additionally, you can use Yocto hubs for Ethernet or Wi-Fi on any device that can run the Virtual Hub software. First off, you'll log in to your Valarm Tools Cloud account at tools.valarm.net and purchase credits if you haven't already. Next, click the Create an API Device button on the Device Manager page. Check that the type is set to Yoctopus, then type in a nickname for your new remote environmental monitoring device. After you click Save, you'll get to the Device Details page for your new device. You can do things like change the device's color here in order to distinguish it from your other devices in the device manager. Use the expires field to assign more credits to the device and use a set location button to specify a stationary device's place in the world. You can use the map to zoom in as far as you need, then click or else manually enter latitude and longitude coordinates for your real-time telemetry deployment. Next, you'll click the Get API URL button. Be sure to copy your Valarm device's routing code to your clipboard, or else be ready to come back to this page to get the code for your final device configuration using Virtual Hub. If you don't already have the Virtual Hub program, then download Virtual Hub from yoctopus.com for your operating system. Then launch the Virtual Hub program to start a local web server and connect to it by going to http colon slash slash localhost colon 4444 in your web browser. In the list of your connected Yocto devices, click your hub that you'd like to configure for Valarm Tools Cloud. Next click the edit button next to the callback URL. Use the drop down menu to select valarm.net callback and then paste in your routing code from Valarm Tools Cloud. Then you can configure the frequency for uploading your sensor data. Be sure to click OK and then Save to save all of your configuration. Then you can click Configure and the Test Now button to confirm that everything's all set up. Now that your device is set up, you can go back to Valarm Tools Cloud for the final steps to see your real-time, live, remote sensor data in the cloud. Click the Configure Yocto Hub button to map your sensors to channels. Here we see the sensor hub connector device last reported with values from a VOC air quality sensor. Click the add button to add the sensor to the list, then select which channel you want to assign it to from the drop down list. Click the plus button and the sensor will be saved. Under the hub config tab, you can change the frequency and post interval of your connector device. Once you change a value and click save, then your newest configuration will be set the next time your sensor hub contacts Valarm Tools Cloud. Now that your sensors have been mapped, you'll see the sensor values all throughout Valarm Tools Cloud. Click Refresh Data to see all of your most recent sensor data. Use the Graph Sensors button to see graphs of your different sensor factors, and see our website, valarm.net, as well as other videos for more on how to use our open APIs for further customization. Thank you for watching, and please don't hesitate to contact us at info at if you have any questions or requests for another video.